Hey, this is Matt from Vesquant. Today is Tuesday, December 28, 2021. The market has been extremely strong over the past handful of days as we rally into the year end. And yesterday's strong close put us up above the upper Bollinger Band. So we're going to see what has happened historically following a close above the upper Bollinger Band, which can be seen as an overbought reading. I've selected all four instruments. The setup we're looking at will be based upon entering the market long at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time and exiting at 4.15 p.m. Eastern Time. Now, currently, we are trading higher again, so I'm going to go to the opening filters, select gap up from the gap direction, and then the next thing I'm going to do is go down to this indicators library and say that yesterday closed above the upper Bollinger Band. I can grab that from the active today which is right there, or I can grab it from overbought, oversold. And then I'm going to put us above a 10 and 200 day simple moving average as well. Now I can click view results. All right, here we go. These are the results based upon entering the market long at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time, exiting at 4.15 p.m. Eastern Time when you gap up at the open and the prior day closed above the upper Bollinger Band and above a 10 and 200 day simple moving average. Historically, we've got 106 samples for the S&P. There's 138 in the NASDAQ, 129 in the Dow, 117 in the Russell. The win rates on these are pretty mixed. You've got the S&P coming in at 53%, the NASDAQ the strongest of the group at 61%, the Dow 56%, and the Russell's the weakest at 48%. If we look at the average moves on these, the S&P has an average loss that is larger than its average win. For the NASDAQ, the average loss is also larger than its average win. The Dow, just a little bit larger on that average loss. And then the Russell, uh, similar with just a little bit larger average loss compared to its average win. So all four of these have larger moves to the downside compared to their moves to the upside. The win rates on them are pretty mixed. I don't see anything that really stands out in agreement here for the win rates. They are pretty neutral, so I don't see much of a bias there, but the bigger moves have historically been on the downside following this pattern. Hopefully you found that helpful. Good luck today, and we will see you next time.